Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So, I think I start all videos and you know exactly what they're going to be, but um, this one is a review and do kit in of my finished whip. So, this is Evening Light from Diamond Art Club. It is a square drill. Um, 22 inch by 29 inch or 56 by 74 centimeters so this is my biggest square drill painting that i have done so far it is licensed by jeremiah kettner and obviously it's diamond art club so let's try doing this holding the camera and showing you guys it often goes a bit bad but let's see Oh wow, look at this. Let me just try to flatten out the top. That worked a lot better than Elizabeth. <laughs> oh wow. Look how pretty she is. Oh, you can definitely, oh, I'm at least getting a sparkle. So many ABs, like, look at that in her hair. All the blue ABs. And then down on her top, can you see that? And the amazing part with ABs is when they're around something, like for example in the hair, they're making all the other blue really, really sparkle. So when you look at her face, oh, so pretty. I think that flower is one of my favorite parts as well. It was lovely to work on. There was some real blocky bits, but also some very confetti bits. And I think that was the nice part. So like as you can see around here and the other side, confetti heaven um, and on like the rest of the sky as well but that wasn't quite as bad. But then you've got down here what I was doing last with all the grass, super, not really confetti, obviously her chest, sorry I'm touching her boobies, um, the cats, not very confetti, the hair wasn't that too bad, neither was the face. So a lot of blocking, or a bit of blocking, and some bits of confetti which break it up very nicely. And yes, everybody on my Instagram has been saying how big her boobies are. It is a thing, people. She's got a really big pair, so, but I just love it. I can't wait to show James's mum and dad because they... They bought me this one for my birthday, so very cute. Right, so I'm going to go and get this set up to kit down for us. I also want to go and grab a cup of tea because this I finished this at like one o'clock last night. <laughs> Late night for me, and obviously I wasn't gonna do this in the the pitch black. So I have been waiting all morning. Or all night should I say so this morning the first thing I wanted to do was this reveal it it's so pretty so now I've revealed it and I've seen it myself now I'm going to go and go get a cup of tea and then we will um decay this but obviously it's gonna be a click of the fingers for you guys so I'll see you in a second Okay, so we are ready to kit this one down. So, first of all, we're going to obviously start with the 150 to 899 box. So, let's get this open. Okay, so that means, because the ABs I keep in my... Uh, other box we're going to skip one and two for the second which are our a b colors and go straight on to the next so the beauty with diamond art club so i'm looking for 155 and like i said the beauty with diamond art club is these go into my nice bags so like this i've already got bags so all of these there'll be no bags needed to be created I've just got to pour them straight in and there we go so they go in the square bags obviously because they're square and that's that so it's done 
um, let me see if I can peel the stickers off actually before as I'm as I'm going along if I can't I'm just gonna leave it to the end and do it off camera but I got most of that off it is helpful if you can do it while you go along at 208 which is here So I don't already have any 208, but I do now. That's the good news. It's the really good these bags. And that's how we're doing it. So I don't want to bore you saying it all. I actually feel like having a chinwag with you guys today. So oh, we've got some 209. Um, so basically, today is James's university exam. He's got one. And after this, he's done. How unfair is this? James is done. I've still got three weeks. James always gets the better deal. The better end at stick. Really annoys me. <laughs> but I've obviously got a lot more time to finish things off and to revise and stuff like that. So have to see the silver line in there um however saying about seeing the silver lining i've had to like wait uh, for james to finish to do anything because his excuse so i've got exams i've got this i've got that i'm like for goodness sake so um i've decided that I'm going to try a low carb diet thanks to the wonderful Stitcherista uh, aka Danielle who is on YouTube you want to go check her out um, she does daily whipping charts and does like true crime stories but she has been doing low carb and to be honest and I messaged her because I was like thank you so much for just sharing like what you eat and how you kind of go along doing this because I honestly would never think in a million years that I could do low carb <laughs> because I love bread I love pasta I love potato so essentially I love all things carbs um so you know I just thought though there's so many things that she's eating and that I could eat and I could do so I'm gonna attempt to do that we have been having hello fresh um, delivered for the last like four weeks because I got like a student discount on it um, which they're nice don't get me wrong um, I have enjoyed the meals that they've done however it's not doing anything for my weight loss and actually the meals are pre-portioned one second let me just get my to stool sorry about the noise um yeah so the meals are pre-portioned and So basically I feel like I could have eaten more and then that's made me hungry and then I've snacked on things and we don't have because we've been getting obviously HelloFresh delivered we haven't really been going to the supermarket so I haven't had things in that I can alternatively eat if you know what I'm saying so anyway, so we've cancelled that or just skipped every single box I can for the time being and I'm going to try low carb. So after James's exam, um, in a couple of hours, we're going to go to, um, to Costco 
to try finding some stuff and then on to the supermarket to get the rest of everything. I told him, I said, we'll probably end up spending quite a bit at Costco, you know, because stuff comes in big packets. Um, but, like, and it's expensive, but it comes in big packets. Like, that's what you forget. Like, so we won't need to take a Costco trip every single week. I said it'll probably be like every couple to three weeks but you will end up spending more because I can just guarantee him complaining over how much <laughs> it's costing and anybody that has been to Costco knows exactly what I'm talking about so yeah it can cost a, quite a bit like I want to get some like really nice punnets of fruit because their fruit is really nice um and like I said, Stitcherise, Danielle has told me a couple of things I should be looking out for. She's in the US, so I don't know how much of that is going to be in the UK. But um, I'm still going to look. Because like all the Kirkland brand and stuff that's Costco's own, that, that gets sold in the UK as well, I'm sure. So... Like the same things, roughly. Like you can buy a lot of American things. So we'll see. Um, what I can get my hands on. But I'm just excited to just try dieting again. But be a bit more motivated, a bit more... Because I mean, planning and thinking of meals can be good. It can also be bad depends on the diet plan that I'm on but I've had a good think about and I mean HelloFresh has helped because we've had some nice like bits of food uh, my favourite was the first meal we had actually nothing's topped it as which was just halloumi burger and obviously an halloumi burger you know anybody can do it was literally halloumi fried with um a half a bell pepper that had been roasted and then like before the end you just basically cover it in sweet chili um sauce and then a bit of mayo so i said to james so well, that's something that i could do low carb without the bread bun because there's not much carbs in cheese obviously there's not many in a bell pepper in fact there might not even be any I don't know I haven't properly looked yet but you know the bread's really the carb part of that and then I can have I don't know maybe some fried courgette or something like that on the side I've got some ideas but I don't know until I get there do you know what I mean so this time I'm kind of going in blind but it'll be all right because once I sort of see stuff and think about it, I know what I'm doing. So, um, but yes, yeah, so then I said to James, um, we were talking last night and I realised that I've got some family members that are coming up from Kent this weekend coming up because it's the bank holiday we haven't seen them in a while because of obviously lockdown and covid and uh another family member has already got like a pub in their back garden um so well not a pub but a like they made a makeshift bar so we're all going around there on saturday um, I know, starting low carb and then I'll be drinking some alcohol, but we'll see. Life doesn't stop for dieting, like, and I, I have a choice, you know, and at the end of the day, at that point, I rarely ever drink alcohol. And, um, to be honest, I don't have much anyway, but... I think considering it's a one-off sort of we don't see these people very often 
I'm not bothered, I'm okay. And then also on the 10th of June, that's my last exam and my and James's anniversary. So we are going to Mill and Carter uh, to have dinner. And to be honest, I did think, I rarely eat the chips anyway from Miller and Carter because the dinner was just huge. Like you get, uh, obviously the steak, you get a lettuce wedge, which is fine. It's lettuce. Hello. Uh, I do have ranch and croutons though, so there is a bit of croutons there. So that's not obviously the most low carb. But then there's just onion loaf and... Um, trying to think then did I put that in the square yeah um there's an onion loaf that you get which is just like this like fried onion thing low carb no carbs in that um and yeah the chips which like I said don't eat that much anyway so for me personally I think that's not too bad anyway as a meal I'm low carb um but I will be having a drink because it's our anniversary so judge me however you like but I know these events are coming up and I'm not going to like I could turn around and say well I'll wait until after the 10th of June because I know these events are coming up but the seven days in a week people that's seven evening meals it's if you have breakfast lunch and dinner it's 21 meals all together you can't let just one meal define your entire week that's not how it works you know um and i could just wait but i'd pile on weight because i would just be eating crap i'd rather get a handle on it right now Feel like that's smarter seven two four um oh seven two eight i'm going there's no seven two four that's because it's seven two eight you dyslexic woman um yeah i'm not waiting i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start and them days will be what they'll be I want to weigh myself daily but then take an average of the week to give me my weekly weight loss just so I'm aware of what's happening with my body um not really focusing too much on the daily you know what's happening on the scale but at least I'm aware like is it water weight is it because I've had a lot of this or you know have i not drunk enough water i don't know do you know what i mean i want to be aware of what's happening in my body so i'm doing it like that oh we've done uh one two three four five six we've done 18 Still a bit to go. But oh well. I definitely think taking off stickers though is like the bane of this process now. But I'm hoping when I wipe these over with goo gone because I've never had it on before, the next lot of stickers isn't going to be so bad that's what i'm hoping fingers crossed seven eight two so yeah that's the aim we haven't got a lot of like colors left over in this one because we never really had in the first place a ridiculous amount of just one color so, I've never really had like, like this, it's empty, that needs to go back away, because um, yeah, like I said, 
never really had a ridiculous amount um so i think that the blues like that probably the most but yeah i've got no extra bags left over at all So yeah, I think that's a good thing. So anyway, I realised I've completely diverted to the story I was trying to say because that's me. Um, so I was saying to James about the family coming around and obviously like I said, we've got date night on the 10th of June. Well, because I've put on like three stone in lockdown don't judge me thank you very much um i basically have no clothes that fit me and i said to him basically i have some trousers i can wear but no top that fits me to go with them trousers and they're like them you know like leather look like leggings so there's no top that'll go with that and then um, I've got some tops, some like bodysuits, but with bodysuits, obviously you can see the trouser like buttons, you can see like, um, yeah, like y you've got to have something that's not going to make your belly look bulgy and the only like jeans that I would wear that usually would go with like a bodysuit, um, are too tight. So they do fit, like I'll be wearing my jeans today and they do fit but they would make my stomach look really big. So I basically need new top and new bottoms but for different outfits. Um, which I know sounds very weird, very strange but yeah. So what we're going to do now is we are going to head to Meadow Hall, our shopping centre first, as soon as he's finished the exam because obviously we'll have food in the car um, if we do it after and that's not very good so we're going to go to Meadow Hall first plus it should be a bit quiet because it is a Monday saying that, load of people do not work Mondays especially with kids so you've got the women pushing the prams all around. Okay. Uh, so hopefully though it'll be a bit more quiet than usual. Like I'll be able to get into Zara, <laughs> which I'm hoping. Because right now, when all the shops have opened back up, Zara constantly has a huge queue. I think it's because people order stuff online during lockdown it's not free returns unless it's to store so I reckon they've ordered online and then everybody's taking like those outfits back I've ordered like nothing I haven't been ordering clothes I've been ordering diamond paintings but I've not been ordering clothes so I have not had that issue um, and I do prefer to go in I don't think you can try on I think the changing rooms are still closed like they don't allow that but um, I at least prefer to look at a garment and kind of think, does that look okay? Um, the issue is now with trousers, with tops, I can probably guess, like, depending how big it looked, I can get a medium or a large, but with trousers, I have absolutely no idea what you get when you you know you put on weight you, you don't know where you are anymore so I don't know how I'm gonna work that out I think Levi's to be fair but I don't want to spend Levi money well it's not me spending it's James because I'm on a spending ban so he's promised me he will get me these um yeah that's another thing I've had to be put on a spending ban because I've worked out so I don't get a student don't get any more student loan till September which is when I get my final like the loan for my 
postgraduate my PGDE as they call it for, to become a teacher I will get that in the last week of September it's like really late on so I've got to get from there to now on one student loan and usually I work over the summer but I haven't been able to find my usual job and I haven't found anything yet that I'm able to do because it would need to be a temp job because obviously I'm not planning on staying there so I can't just take a regular part-time job because when I'm training to be a teacher I'm definitely not working a part-time job like I physically get a bursary because of a lot of money of like basically a salary which the government give to trainee teachers because it's that much work you physically can't do anything else like you've got to it's basically like you are working full time as a teacher but you're just not employed so that's why they give out these bursaries so yeah I can't exactly go applying for jobs that are like part time I don't find that fair either like I know I need one but there'll be people there that genuinely need a part time job for a longer period of time uh, so for me to just like kind of apply for it to swoop in to get a part time job knowing I'm literally going to be there two months I mean and plus with places like that you know they tend to take longer than that to train you up so it would be completely unfair to the place to be trained up and be like literally just finished my training like okay I'm leaving thanks <laughs> you've uh, paid me for a few months toodaloo that's not fair I don't agree with that so yeah I've not found anywhere so it's going to be a bit tough and I did like incomings outgoings sort of like a a bit of a breakdown <laughs> And it physically means like with all my outgoings like this doesn't include shopping or anything like that this just includes bills camera shut off yeah with my incomings and outgoings so that's that box done let me get the other one oh, so this one is 900 onwards so 900 to 5200 um 9.13 so as I was saying sorry I know I keep fluttering about the place incomings to outgoings are basically identical so that means there's no room for spending any other money so I'm like I can't spend a single penny because I just don't have it um oh dear so James is having to buy everything but he is still working at the bar until he secures a job and with bars and restaurants now opening back up he's getting himself a good few hours he's doing like 30 hours this week after he's finished his exam so he's quite content like in thinking that we'll be fine until He's got a job that he's like really close to securing. They just want to do a few like trials with him and stuff like that. But we don't know how much his pay is going to be and we don't know. I really, I will be so annoyed because they have proper messed him about. So saying, oh, we really want you. We want to make it work. We just need you to come in and we want to like kind of work with you. Because it's, it's like a start-up business, a start -up company. But they've had him on this like little leash for like ages. So if they turn around and put plug, I'll be so annoyed. So they better not. <laughs> because they'll be getting the wrath of Alicia. Um, but yeah. Not great. But let's all please keep our fingers crossed for James he gets the job although hopefully by the time this video actually gets put up on my channel we may hear, have heard back and he may have secured it that would be nice so 
so yeah I'll have to let you know in the the description box what's going on with that see in my last video as well I said I want to start doing like a topic of a video like a topic of the day and discuss it and I asked people for suggestions now I don't want you to think I haven't been listening to your suggestions if you have made any um this video is being made long before I've put that other one up so that's why I haven't you haven't physically as I'm recording this made any suggestions um so it will be a few videos in the future where I'll start doing that but please do leave suggestions in each video so leave one in this video of topics of the day that I can talk about um and I will you know I'll go down them all so my goal now is to try to get it so I'm only recording at the weekend for videos that week but I've still got quite a few and obviously me finishing canvases like there'll be two videos here and I only re release three a week um but there's two videos because there's this kitten down and then as we all know kitten down what's following I've got storage it's a kitten up so, um, yeah, I'm trying my hardest to get to real time. And to be honest, I think the thing that I may not be doing, even though a lot of you really love it, but kind of had a chin wag in this video anyway, is whip and chat. Um, simply because they're like videos that I, you know, I don't have to document. Um... I, I want to document the kitten up, kitten down process of every painting. I think that's really important. Whip and chats, although I do love them, they're not essential. So, until I'm like sort of up to speed. And then when I'm up to speed, I'll probably do a whip and chat a week. You know, um, because people do like them. I'll probably, I don't know, definitely do a whip and chat and then vary up the videos. If I'm doing one weekly, I'm not finishing paintings weekly. So not every week we'll have a kitten up, kitten down, if that makes sense. But um, might not even have an unboxing because let's be real, I ain't got any money. <laughs> so don't get your hearts up for loads and loads of unboxings. I do have a lot of pre-orders coming. So don't worry, you won't be out of them. And I have to admit, and this is a secret people, because I did put it on the credit card but um, and the only reason I could put it on the credit card is I did balance transfer to another credit card I'm horrendous honestly it's gonna go down as soon as I get my base everything's gonna be sorted out financially but um, Claire's gonna kill me damn painting with Claire she's gonna kill me um, but anyway by the time this is out there's nothing she can do about it she's just gonna have to deal with it <laughs> um, but I purchased also because of my favorite stitchery star um, some Lizzie Falcon paintings from Treasure Studios Arts I want to be diverse on my channel you know I want to show multiple companies Obviously, we had the Diamond Art Studio UK little duck unboxing. I've done Prism Diamond paintings. These are better companies that you can use as opposed to AliExpress. Um, granted, Treasure Studios Arts, I think, is a bit more expensive. It's on the Diamond Art Club sort of level. However, although the duck was kind of on the Diamond Art Club sort of price range, they do at um, Diamond Art Studios have something like £20. They're still big, so they're maybe £20, but they're like 50 by 50s or 50 by 60s. A lot bigger than what you're going to find on Amazon for a tenner, for example. Um, so they're a bit more affordable. The only thing I'm really not up for doing is wasting my money and... 
to be honest I don't want to be spending lots and lots on Aliexpress because they can still be £7 a painting I would rather save that £7 and get better quality and show you guys better quality so I am always looking out for um, companies that have great quality can be a bit more on the cheaper side prism prism was excellent prism diamond paintings the one i got was licensed so it was a bit more expensive but they had plenty for 20 pound um so just think about it like this you know you can pay 10 pound for some like 30 by 40s on amazon that come and they're actually like um 25 by 35s because they take some off at the side pulled out the wrong one there or you can you know just say okay well instead of getting one of them i'll just save that 10 pound and then the next week or the next month or however you budget yourself I'll get a bigger painting and it'll probably take me just to, like for £20 and it'll just take me as long but you're getting much better quality you're getting a more enjoyable experience that way you know what you're buying will not come and be a bit dodge because I've had some that have been dodgy right I, I'm not even gonna joke with you some of them have been horrendous and that's why I don't like not knowing what I'm getting and you know I'm not one to get into a debate with it because I understand I'm very much a person that understands everybody's point of view and I always have been like I can even think of people's potential points of view before they've even said them um, and I don't judge because I don't know anybody else's situations and circumstances and I can't judge you and I refuse to judge you however I can judge myself um, and I know the position I'm in which is that if I don't have the money to spend on better quality paintings from stores that I really enjoy and like working on I just won't get them and I won't go to Aliexpress so please um, don't come to me asking for me to review something on Aliexpress or from fan cells or um, from Amazon. I do have an Amazon wish list and I do have the odd few things on it but I I really don't see myself buying any of them because I'm more than happy with the paintings that I've got that for me are just absolutely amazing quality. Um, sorry do you know what that just took a bad turn but it's my channel and it's what i want to spend my money on um and that's as simple as that i don't have anybody pay me a wage to do it i don't you know so it's my money and i'm sure i've said to you before i think i said it in my first whip and chat my first video on this channel that i did have a youtube channel um finish i i i I had it last year I probably started it so January 2020 and I had it all the way up to about September but I found myself trying to appease others and spending my own hard-earned money appeasing others so for example buying clothes that I would never wear to try to make videos that people would like and to try to wear clothes that other people would like how backwards that right <laughs> it's just insane that i even thought about doing that i was very naive very stupid and it you know that's the main reason i've got a credit card with the ridiculous amount of debt that i'm in um at the moment it's not ridiculous it's still manageable but it's not it's not ideal um no debt's ideal but yeah i was very stupid just wanted to be successful wanted to make a youtube channel work and 
silly yeah so i've vouched that i wouldn't do that on this channel i buy things because i want to buy them so sorry not sorry um i'm sure a lot of you can understand that but i just want to to make it loud and clear before i ever do get asked because i'm not trying to be nasty um but yeah hopefully with with the paintings that i've bought from other suppliers and things this one is going to become another supplier so this box here the next one i am doing a kit from somewhere else so i just want to show you all the options out there for really good diamond paintings and i'm very excited to try to kit it up a bit different from kitting up a diamond art club um yeah and to to see how that one's turning out that would be really great so i can't wait to to try doing that one the stickers are just taking ages aren't they but i am doing it and that means at the end i've saved myself some time at three eight three seven in square we are nearly there what have i got one two i've got six more and then two ab's two ab colors which i've got to do they're the only ones that i don't already have um a bag for but that's because ab's are a bit different in the sense every company does them differently so i can't you know tell you what a what dmc number it is i think i can find out from diamond art club but then you know i've got other companies that have ab's in them like diamond arts and stuff like that and yeah no 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 so i'm just leaving it as you know putting them putting them away as i get them so making a bag as I get the colour and I'll just write a label myself and then in the future I might print a label at some point when I've got you know a lot of them for three so yeah that is you know what i've been doing drinking my cup of tea and it's freezing excuse me you're gonna hear slurping because i've got to like neck it <laughs> one second sorry i've cut that out sounded disgusting and I, I actually feel sick because it's like lukewarm tea Ugh. <sighs> that must mean i've been doing this for ages a cup of teas i'm horrendous though i do leave quite a few because they have to be the perfect temperature does anybody else have that like honestly some people in my family and stuff have like asbestos mouths where they'll drink really really hot tea like straight out of the kettle like are you insane like i do that i bear my tongue now so i just can't do it so i have to leave it until it gets like like literally so it's warm but it's not hot but then when it gets to that point tea it like it just jumps from like that point to freezing in like no time um which is insanity <laughs> so i often miss like miss the ball because i'm like oh too, i touch it i'm like oh too hot two minutes later touch it okay that's freezing cold now just happens how it is okay last normal color get 
get it out ready. Oh, I'm red hot today. I've got the window open if you can hear the birds chirping because it was window or fan. And I think window makes a bit less noise. So, 3861. Hardly any of these. <laughs> there might be like 20. Not even that. Okay. So. That is all of them done and dusted. And then I know for a fact I don't have any ABs in square because I've only done um I've done three square paintings now in total. But one was just a cheaper kit from just paint by numbers. The other was a diamond art cup, but had no ABs. So, um, one, three, one, and one, three, seven. So I'm just writing on my stickers, and I've wrote one, three, seven first. Great. Um, doesn't matter. Don't matter. And then I have some remaining nice bags because it was a set of a thousand, but. Oh, there's only about 400 and odd GMC numbers so you get about if you have a bag for both round and square you get about 100 spare so oh I'm throwing the bag on the floor so we'll do one three one first and then one three seven So yeah, I do. I made sure I had some leftover stickers with no numbers on, just in case. I don't have many ABs of these colours left, so not like a great amount to put if I want to spice up another painting. But I'm sure I'll get there eventually. You know. So. Get them off and then 137. There was quite a lot of 137 in this painting, like when we saw the blue in her hair and in the dress, and very pretty. Made it all very sparkly indeed. So then in the box, so at the back, I'll just show you. So here are the Diamond Art Club ABs that I've got. So I have 130, 133, 131, 137 and 141. So I have an array of colours but obviously these are rounds. They are squares. Then I also have these from Diamond Dots. But the reason I don't put, even though Diamond Dots are brilliant quality, the reason I don't put them in that bag is because the facets on them are ever so slightly different. They have more, I think. So diamond dots are known to be very sparkly. So they don't get put in with them just because they're very different. Um, I'd still happily use them, but I just want to know that they're like a bit different. So give this a shake like that that's all done so that box can go away so I'm just going to and I may show you because I don't think I have showed you my Gugon on the channel so give me a second I'm just putting all this sticker rubbish away and I will grab the Gugon
Okay, so I have got Goo Gone Pro Power because I just thought, why the hell not? Um, and then this is just like a lint free fleet, uh, a lint free cloth. This is the corner I use. Can you see? Because it's got all the sticky residue on it. Um, and you can wash it, obviously, and it has been washed, but that hasn't come off, so I just use the same corner. Um, but it is clean, so you just take the lid off put a bit on and just wipe the bottles and it's so amazing it really does work wonders I'm shocked it's taken me this long to get it how many times do I say on videos guys <laughs> oh I need to buy some goo gone but I can't be bothered it's really quick obviously some of them have still got like paper on so they are taking a little bit longer. I'm literally looking at my camera as it as it goes off. Um, I could have turned it off myself so it didn't lose anything, but oh well, what's that on there? Gross. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few bottles quite a bit of sticky residue but it is coming off with the goo gum the stickers from Diamond Art Club the old ones anyway I've heard that they use new stickers now maybe be positionable so maybe better to get off um, but I haven't actually heard of anybody using it and if they are better but I have kid a couple up now with the new stickers so I will let you know when I come to kitting them down if the stickers are easy to get off without leaving loads and loads and loads of residue but I'm afraid these stickers are known to be a bit of a pain to get off and they leave quite a bit of residue so um yeah but we are nearly there okay and then I'm just going to use another part of the cloth to get because it feels really slimy like I do have to admit the Yugon really feels like greasy I guess that's how it works right greasy and there we go look all done and dusted the only thing I do need to do is remove the sticker off of the front and give it a bit of a wipe there we go done and dusted so that is that painting kitted down thank you so much for liking subscribing commenting and of course watching and until next time see you in the next one